Alright, so we are just going to go through and update the, um, the Mizzet decks with the cards I want to try out in Commander. Um, I'm doing this because I let it get behind recently, I had to do a massive catch up. So I figured we'd put it on for um, <coughs> the old Nib Mizzet deck and we'll see where we stand. So the first thing is I had a Taylor's Indulgence to the Storm deck because of its ability to sort things out. Basically, it's a better draw spell than the one I currently had. So let's start with the first multicolored card, which is Scheming Fence. Um, I we are going to try this in Hate Bears. Should have everything sorted by color. So if we're going to put him in Hate Bears, what can we take out? Arbitrine, Video, Dolan's Veto, Dinic. I would probably take out the Le um, I am gonna take what does Dinic do again? Spells can't be toxic creative to abilities. Mm, pretty decent, pretty decent. Let's have a look through the other colours. Specifically, here we go, we've got eight on the old. Right, I'm probably going to take out Shauna, to say that as you can see, because while she is great, she is just another um, example of not being a hate bear for the deck, so we'll try that. So our next card we could add is Bikini Upkeep. Oh, this is, um, yeah, so this is, this one thing we got to go through is, because we've got the Commander decks online as well, some of these cards will be reprints. Angel Advisor, fine, when enters the battlefield, choose a creature you don't control, tap it. The creature is untapped, so the next untap step. Well, the one we'll go look at is the good old Sky Deck. Let's look and see if there's anything that could lower our curve here. A lot of the stuff here is really good. We could probably take out Ralph. Yeah, we trade Ralph for this one. Ralph synergizes more with the historic spells, which we don't have. Daxus is new. Exotic pets. Okay, I'm going to the tokens because I 100% still have a goal of 100 different token printing. <laughs> Alright, so we don't have a lot in the Azorius colors, so let's put it in and strip another color down. Specifically, we should probably look at lowering the cost of... Oh, uh, well, not lowering the cost of. Let's see what we could mess around with. Hmm. Let's take out Binding the Old Gods. I mean, that's a good little pump spell, but it doesn't actually do anything. Amazing for us, and now we have fish to our tokens. Right, this card, the Chief Engineer, is currently not on the system, so it's not going to matter. Ooh, counters on them, draw a card. Let's go to the uh, Counters deck. There's not much in the way of... You know what? It could be good card draw, so let's put it in. And we'll take out It's gonna help me to do this, but it's probably Tanzia Quandrix. Or is it I think it's Taurus. Taurus is slowly falling out of a lot of my decks. He's not been as impressive as I thought he would be. Alright, a life insurance, extort. Whenever a non-token creature dies, you lose one life and create a treasure token. Ooh, this has potential. Let's have a look and see. Um, the obvious home would be aristocrats. But then, if we're comboing off, it's not the greatest. Mm. 
I think we can put this in What about the artifact deck? Yeah, we'll put in the artifact deck because there are some garbage artifacts we've put in here. Uh, let's take out this one, because <laughs> that is literally just space filler. Even hot stone. As long as you've been following money, you get plus 2 plus 2 and it's death touch. When it dies, mill 2, then draw a card. No, nothing to uh, snooping newbie. I guess 1 1 has life link. Take the indulgence, we've already gone over. 3 for 70. Syndicate Infiltrator. No, it's just a little pump as it goes. Uh, another red card. Risen Deep is already one that exists on, so there'll be a Cryptic Pursuit. That was one that I actually really wanted to play, so I'm very upset that that is a red card on the photo. Called the Skyraker. Body dropper. Meh, it's not a. Uh, not the greatest and not the worst. I mean, the obvious choice would be aristocrats here, but I think we're pretty. Yeah, there's nothing I'd really want to take. I suppose I could trade it for the Dread Horde. Because Dread Horde... Yeah, I suppose he is a big body that gets bigger as we go along. Fiddle Grudge. This is one I wanted to try somewhere, but... Well, it would obviously be here, but still... I'm not feeling greatest on this. Corpse Explosion. Uh, I don't think I'm going to try that anyway. Of Nixilus, well, obviously we're going to put him in the Super Friends deck. Uh, and in you go. And we will take out... Probably this Fracturing. Because that was just placeholder for the old thing. Forge boss. Two damage but only once per turn. We might come back to Corpse Explosion, we'll look into it. Grime Gorger, another card which I would be cool to play with. Green Grace's Judgment Artifact Mutation. Black Market Tycoon. Artifact deck or 100%. I think you will go in over the Lillifog. Don't get me wrong, the Lillifog was a fun card, but it just very rarely went off that way. Jipmere's Fixer. Right, hold on. We're going to go to the poor house here. to change the skull back for this because at least we could probably not make it bigger Jolene <laughs> the f Jolene oh Dolly Parton just showed into my head there okay um no nothing to me stimulus package Okay, I want to put this in the artifact deck. 100%. I'll trade that over Sylvelia. Uh, in addition to that, I also wanted. Where is. I was going to consider it for tokens, but tokens doesn't have that much treasure, so we'll see how it impresses me, and then we'll see. 
This is Battlefield Creative Citizen Tokens. Oh, well, I suppose if we... Hold on. My brain just suddenly fired some dead brain cells back to life. Um, tokens. So, if we have... And no, not and Rex and Twin Casters. One or more tokens if you're going to control Chris to quite that many tokens instead. So each treasure makes two, and this makes two. Hold on. My brain. So, stimulus package comes in, makes two treasures. So let's say that this is down after Adrix and Alex. Actually no, let's say that we played this first because it's more resilient. Then we play the Adrix and Enix. So, we sack the two treasures, that makes us four citizens. We can then tap four citizens to make two treasure tokens. That makes us four citizens. We can then tap another. F yeah, it does work. So these. This is a very janky. Okay, Phylaf is too cost expensive, and we don't run enough basics to truly abuse it. Perforous proposal. Partnership. Sorry. Uh. I'm gonna have to get rid of Outlaws Merriment. I love Outlaw's Merriment, but it just does not work in Commander. Civil Servants. I think we'll go to the Poor House again to drop you in. Let's put this in here. Where's the Peacekeeper? That's like give everyone four life. Let me get rid of that. Whenever you to combat damage to a player, draw a card if you have two more creatures entered. Hmm. I'm potentially going to look at you in the blink deck. Alright, I might swap you out for the Fix here. I mean, you are... Two life is irrelevant in Commander, and... If... Uh, maybe not, actually. This... This one is. This one is really making me consider. Two or more creatures enter the battlefield this turn. Under your control. Hmm. I suppose there will be situations where that can work. Let's see what we get here. Ceremonial groundbreaker. Zavala is a reprint. Diary of the Masses. I don't need anything for my right Marsh. Agent's Toolkit, which would be great if I could actually play it. Poor Hill, Baron Mage, Evolution, and Trim. So that covers all of the new cards in Capenna that we were going to drop into Commander. That was a far less stressful experience. Uh, the only other thing we I'd always like to do in every commander set is just go to the mono green cards and see if there was anything printed that could come as a good replacement for ramp. Well, there's the voted Far seeks and nothing now. Rampant growth. Cultivate, what should say is. Galaxy Uprising, Katama's Reach. No, I don't think there's going to be anything too crazy. They've printed another Avenger, so it's good. A Woodfall Premise. Luxurious Liberation. 
interesting. Bootleg mustaches, yes, definitely one thing which we, I think will be another reason to want more artifact haze. Hmm. No, sadly, I do not think anything here will change our ramp package. But no, all good. So we got some new cards to try out in Commander. Let's get going with that. <laughs> 